Hello friends, in this video we make antimony 3 iodide. Antimony 3 iodide is a ruby red colored compound formed by the direct combination of antimony with iodine in a suitable solvent. Materials required for this preparation includes 3.5 grams of antimony, 7 grams of iodine and 150 milliliters of toluene. Here we have all the reactants ready, 3.5 grams of antimony, 7 grams of iodine crystals and 150 milliliters of toluene dried with anhydrous calcium chloride. Start by taking a 250 milliliter 3 neck round bottom flask. First we add 3.5 grams of antimony powder into it. Then we add 7 grams of iodine crystals on top of that. Attach a reflex condenser on top of the flask and start pumping water through it. The two side necks are closed with a glass stopper. A heating mantle coil was put below the flask to provide uniform heating to the sides of the flask. A magnetic steering bar was introduced into the flask through one of the side neck. Now we pour down 150 milliliters of dried toluene from the top of the reflex condenser. Iodine immediately dissolves in toluene upon contact, giving the violet color. The flask was then heated and stirred together. A temperature probe was introduced through one of the side ports to monitor the temperature. The solution has to be heated to reflex toluene and this takes place at a temperature of 110 degrees Celsius which is the boiling point of toluene. Reflex should be continued until the color of iodine disappears. What is happening here is antimony element directly combines with iodine to form antimony triiodide where antimony is in plus 3 oxidation state. You can clearly make out the changes in color. Initially it was violet due to the presence of iodine. Now the iodine content is getting decreased and the color has turned into a red color. And finally you get this dark yellow to green color indicating the end of the reaction. I captured this clip because I found this interesting. This is the point where the vapor front of toluene condensing in the condenser back to the liquid state. Now take out the flask and very quickly filter the solution while it is boiling hot. Even though I rushed, some of the antimony 3 iodide crystals crystallized in the funnel and the filter paper. So I had to boil around 20 milliliters of toluene and pour it into the funnel to dissolve the compound and wash it down to the beaker below. Here actually I am just decanting the solution into the beaker in order to bypass the filtration step. You can see the red colored crystals of antimony 3 iodide already clogging the funnel. I decided to just dump everything into the beaker and add some more toluene and I decided to recrystallize it by heating and stirring until the toluene attained its boiling point and as you can see now all the crystals have dissolved and I will stop heating now and allow it to cool. It was let to slowly cool down and we got these beautiful ruby red colored crystals. It was then separated from the beaker and placed in a filter paper to dry. The final yield of antimony 3 iodide which I obtained was 11.4 grams which is approximately 80% yield. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my Patreon supporters who have financially supported me so that I could get the materials required for doing all these experiments. Thank you so much for watching this video. 
If you loved the contents of this video, do hit the subscribe button and the bell button for notifications. You can also join my discord server, I will put a link to that in the description.